Hello and welcome to the Pear Blossom Press YouTube channel. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted here on YouTube and today I will create a light up card featuring the Trinity Stamps um, January release or parts of it anyhow. This is a really fun die set that allows you to assemble a light bulb and there's a lot of different ways that you can actually, um, or designs I should say, of the filament on the inside of the light bulb. So this is a standalone die set. It's called Thanks A Watt. And I'm using the filament style that has the heart shape. But in addition to that, you have uh, some filaments that spell out words. So for example, there's love and there's one that says hello. Uh, there's another filament that is just your standard um, kind of the squiggles <laughs> that go back and forth. So um, quite a few different options there. And what's um, going to be a little bit different with my card today is that I'm going to keep the card relatively simple, but the thought occurred to me that I um, have been making a lot of light-up cards now that I am on the Pear Blossom Press design team. And one of the things that occurred to me is that if you love making light up cards and in particular if you sell cards, say at fairs, you might not want to um, create a light up card purely for the fact that there's um, the battery that is connected or inserted into that battery holder and because it does complete the circuit once it's installed it does start to potentially drain the battery and it might take quite a long time for it to completely drain um so i've never I've never put that to the test. I don't know what the longevity of a battery is once it's connected to a device, but if it concerns you at all about being able to make a lot of cards or make cards in advance and have that battery sitting in there, what I'm going to do on this um, card is actually show you how you can have everything created, assembled, just like you would a normal light up card, but make it so that you can actually uh, prevent the battery from draining, even though it's fully installed. So when we get to that point, I'll be sure to call out what um, I've done. Maybe you've already thought about how to do this, but I never gave it much thought until recently. And this is the first solution that came to mind. So let me know if you've been doing this or if you have another solution that might be better or easier. But what I'm doing is I've attached some um, different layers of this light bulb. There's actually two dies that have um, the complete sort of shape of the light bulb. So you could actually have an additional matte layer um, on top of or behind uh, this light bulb. And I've cut the first matte layer out of vellum. I decided to skip the second um, matte layer, which is even larger. And I've used the, the die that cuts out the filament, heart-shaped filament. I've cut that out of my top panel because that's where I want the light to emanate through. And I've also cut it out of my light bulb so that we have an aperture, but I used the um, the yellow piece that dropped out and I've attached that to my card base. That way, when the lights are off, it still looks kind of lit. It still looks nice. It doesn't, you don't see through all the way to the card base. And there is a little bit of white all the way around because I die cut the filament out of some silver mirror card. And so once that's aligned perfectly, then it just looks like it was, you don't even have an aperture there. I mean, there's that bit of vellum there and that's only there to soften the light a little bit and to partially kind of, um, you know, block 
the wiring. Although where I position the wiring, you're not going to really be able to see it very well. So I am using easy lights today and there are three different LEDs on the uh, single circuit. And what's nice about it is that I, I, because this is a pretty large opening that I'm trying to light up, I didn't think a one light would really be enough, especially since I want to almost create a little bit of a halo effect, but uh, concentrated in this heart um, pattern here or aperture. And I decided to add a second layer of vellum to further soften that light because it's it's a pretty big opening. There's three lights concentrated in a small area. And so that second layer of vellum just helps to soften everything a little bit, but it still allows plenty of light to come through. And so here is where I'm going to um, make it so that this uh, mechanism, the light up mechanism, doesn't have full uh, contact. All I'm going to do is put some thin acetate and into the battery holder and then slip my battery in. So what happens is the acetate is blocking the uh, contacts from actually um, making full contact with the battery. And so the leads from the LED lights aren't actually, you know, making contact with the battery. And you saw a moment ago, I pushed the button and nothing happened. So just that little bit of acetate is enough to prevent this from actually functioning when you put the lights down. And so if you make your um, cards like this and you just put that little bit of acetate there, what you can do is you can leave it there if you want and just draw a little arrow on the acetate. You'll see me do that at the very end. And that way you can even ship the cards like that too. So let's say you know you were shipping a card perhaps overseas and you think it might take a week, two weeks to get there. And um, you're worried that maybe with a lot of things piled on top of it, maybe it's uh, put possibly pushing the button down the whole way over seas and by the time it would be really unfortunate if by the time it lands where it's supposed to um, uh, arrive that the battery has been drained. Or let's say you are planning to make a lot of light up cards for maybe a Christmas craft fair and you're working on cards all year long so that you have enough cards to sell. Well, you can make them all in advance, put the batteries in and everything. And right before you go to the fair, you can pull out, you know, all of those acetate strips so that um, they haven't been draining all year long. And you can um, just sell them. They'll still function. They'll still work. That way, you know, if people are shopping at your booth, they can um, still test you know, and, and play with the cards. Or maybe you can just leave one sample that where you've pulled out the acetate and they can play with that one, um, but you sell the card itself with the acetate still inserted. That way, when your customers buy the card, they don't have to pull it out until they're re ready to send it off. So I can kind of see that there's a lot of different advantages to doing this. And it's such a simple little hack that um, I don't know why I've just never thought of it before. And so um, I thought maybe this might be something that uh, in particular, if you sell cards, I think this could be really useful. So I've just drawn a little arrow there and I did film a little short uh, just to show <laughs> how this works. So here it is. Um, so when I push it, you can see nothing comes on, but when I pull this acetate, piece of acetate out. Now that I've pulled it out, I can't put it back in. So keep that in mind. But now um, the light up card fully works because all of those, because uh, that acetate is no longer blocking the connection between the battery and the 
wires to the LEDs. So here's a final close-up look uh, at my card today. Lots of fun creating and crafting with this Trinity Stamps um, die set. I did use a stamp set by Trinity as well. Um, it's perfect because it has a lot of um, you know, light bulb punny sentiments. So that worked really great and it's called What's Up. Thanks for checking out this video today. I'll leave links to everything in the description box below and until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye!